Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the fifth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the the uh, eclipse. It's the eclipse. So it's the full moon eclipse. So. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I did remember that a minute ago because I got out the extra cards. I usually do extra cards for for an eclipse, but it just it just slipped my mind for a minute, so that's what happened. So yeah, so anyway, let's get started. Keep in mind that this reading is um, really not time-specific, and it's not sign-specific, okay? This is just a reading that I am picking up on the energy that is coming in. Or something like that so we're just gonna start right here what do we have what do we have for around the full moon eclipse what do we have for around the fifth Awareness. Now, this is the Magician card. This is a high awareness. Mission, the Magician takes action to bring success. As above, so below. So this, this means that something, you know, whatever, you, this is manifestation. Somebody has manifested something and it is being brought to them. Okay? They have. Somebody has manifested something good or bad. Okay, your thoughts become things. So somebody has manifested something based on their actions, because that is how you manifest. Yes, it's manifested by thoughts, but it's also manifested by actions, okay? You get what you deserve, okay? The universe above will bring you down to earth what you deserve, what you asked for, okay? Somebody's going to get what they asked for. That's what we got here, good or bad. This is the outcome that you asked for. That is what's going to happen. Somebody's going to get the outcome that they asked for. You know, and the universe responds in mysterious ways. It might be not what you pictured. Okay? It might not be exactly what you pictured because your thoughts can sometimes go askew. Okay? Say, and if you haven't been consistent with your thoughts. Okay? So consistency is big with manifestation. So if you haven't been cons consistent, one minute you want this, the next minute you want that, the next minute you want this again, the next minute you want that again, well, Universe has to make a decision, right? Which one which one is best for you? Okay, so let's see. What do we got? Somebody's about to get exactly what they asked for. One card, please. Judgment. Judgment. Well, take a look at that judgment. Now, judgment is uh, about truth. It's about karma. Oh, judgment is the card of karma. You know, on other decks, it's actually labeled karma. Okay, so judgment is the card, and it's interesting. So it is going to be a very faded time. Okay, this is definitely a life-changing decision. Okay. Karma is involved. Uh, we have some sort of judgment that is being made. Um, somebody may be making a poor judgment call. They may not be in their right mind. They could end up getting themselves in trouble. Maybe that's what happened. There's consequences for your actions. So somebody is about to pee, be dealing with some consequences of their actions by the looks of things. Okay? So... We got consequences here. We do. We absolutely do. Now, um, <laughs> be prepared. Be prepared to be judged. Are you ready to be judged? Because that is exactly what is going on. 
somebody is but going to be held accountable for their actions. The magician is about action. Somebody's about to be held accountable for their actions, courtesy of the universe. Okay? Yes, sir. That's what's happening. Will you be accepted? Will, will you be forgiven? Or will you be punished? Karma is real. The magician is a card of character. It is. Based on your character, you are going to get what you asked for based on your character. This person is making a wise decision by leaving. Okay, I'm leaving. It's time for me to go. I'm going home. Judgment is also the final, it's final, it's a final ending, okay, it's, it's a finality. When somebody, when, when it comes to the judgment, you know, when the gavel goes down and the judgment is made, the judgment is made. It's over. The decision is made. Responsibility is assigned. Good or bad, a judgment is about to be made. What do we have? It's final. It's what you asked for. It's what your character, your character is about to be judged. Your character is about to be judged. Character judgment. This is this is a wake up call. <laughs> it is somebody's about to get a wake up call. And they could actually get a call in the morning because that's what I after I said wake up call, I it's like I heard it, it's like I saw the phone ringing, okay? So this is a wake up call. It's a judgment call. Queen of Cups reversed. Ooh, the Queen of Cups reversed. That's emotional. That's tears. That's deep sadness. That's heartbreak. The Queen of Cups in reverse is, is unable to master emotions. So some is this could there could be some tears. There could be some tears shed. There could be some shed. There could be some sadness. Deep sadness. We could also be dealing with a person that is very uh, definitely went overboard, could have some sort of addictions, just so you know. Um, this, the Queen of Cups in reverse is an individual that, um, is hypersensitive, is scandalous, is revengeful, is manipulative, sees themselves as a victim, lives in a sort of fantasy land. Now, but there, when you get the Queen of Cups in reverse, there's going to be some sort of emotional disappointment. And this person may be emotionally disappointed. That's why they uh, act the way they do. They act vindictively. People usually react from their pain. They get wicked and nasty because of their pain. The Hierophant reversed. So this is doesn't believe in God. We could have somebody here that's not very spiritual. Doesn't believe in God. Uh, under a lot of social pressure. Feeling disgraced. Not honoring the higher power. Doesn't believe. Doesn't believe in a higher power. Doesn't believe in God. Doesn't believe in any teachings. Doesn't listen to any advice. Um... Not very spiritual. The Hierophant reversed is uh, under a lot of social pressure. Controlled by a father figure or controlled by somebody in society.
does the opposite of what they say. This is a liar as well. So we have somebody here that doesn't tell the truth. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's this? The Ace of Pentacles reverse. This is a huge loss. There's going to be a huge loss. I'm just being honest with you, okay? This is this is the lack of reality. Losing something. Losing something of value. Losing money, losing stability, losing a gift. Something being taken away. There may be an be there may have been an abuse of generosity. Somebody uh abused their power with the hero font reversed. Okay, I have to show you something. We have the hero font reversed right here as well on the bottom of this deck. So it's a, it's a very a strong energy in this reading. This is somebody who has done the wrong thing because of social pressure. That's the main meaning for me of this card in reverse. This is somebody who is not very spiritual, that is not very awakened, that is under a lot of social pressure to uh, perform There's also a relationship that is no longer on the same page, okay? There is. This could be a split. The end of a commitment, okay? Um, this is somebody who doesn't have any faith. doesn't believe in a higher power per se. That's what I see it as. This is manipulation. This is manipulation as well. So we have a very manipulate this one, both of them. We have manipulation here. We have a very manipulative individual that uses emotional blackmail as a tactic doesn't believe in God or a higher power. Interesting. Not very intuitive, not very spiritual at all. I already said that, I know. Three of Wands reversed. Not prepared. And definitely not working well with others. Doesn't, doesn't work well with others. Three of Wands reversed. Totally not prepared. No vision, not seeing opportunities, lack of foresight, not very awakened. We definitely have an individual that is stuck in the past, stuck in the present, uh, focused on the past, doesn't, there's like not seeing that there's a beggar, bitter, beggar, <laughs> it is Mercury retrograde, please forgive me. Not seeing that there's a better future. This is somebody that is very, um, you know, definitely sees themselves as a victim. There could be some jealousy issues here. King of Wands. We got a King of Wands here. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, this is somebody that is taking action. Does it have to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? Could be anybody. This is, this is it. This is a boss. This is somebody that is very strong, very protective, very dominant, very controlling, that likes to be in control. This person looks like he uh, is about to do something because he's got the Ace of Wands in his, in his hand and he's on fire. Okay, it's hot. This is hot. It's on fire. Uh, there's there's a fire up here too. There could be feeling really hot, getting really hot, getting hot. If you think about hot, if you look think of it as a metaphor, hot could be angry. Somebody could be getting angry. They didn't see something. They didn't see how somebody was acting or something like that. This guy probably has his eyes closed, doesn't he? Nope, his eyes are open. His eyes are open. So interesting. So this King of Wands is very decisive, making a decision. This guy is the one making a decision. Mm. 
But there's something he's not seeing. And I say it's a he because it's a he on the car. And I do believe it's a he right here. We have a feminine and a masculine. Okay, this would be the feminine. This would be the masculine. It would. So we have a, this is a masculine energy that is... That he's got a new vision because the Ace of Wands is a new vision. He didn't see something, but now he sees something. He does. And you notice that fire is right on his like third eye. So there's some sort of awakening. This person is going through some sort of awakening. He, somebody's getting an awakening. He may be giving the awakening. Eight of Wands on the bottom now. So that is triumphant news arriving very, very fast. Messages, communication, things moving forward very, very fast. Somebody's ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. They're ready. And you don't see it coming with the Three of Wands. Somebody is going to be doing something that they probably spur the moment. And this is definitely very impulsive. It is. The King of Wands is impulsive. I don't care what anybody says. And when we see it here, there's impulsiveness. There's definitely impulsiveness. Somebody's going to make a spur of the moment decision. Ace of Wands is all of a sudden. It's going to make a sudden that, that they were not prepared for. The Fool. This is definitely all of a sudden. So this is taking a leap of faith, jumping, breaking free, leaving all the past behind, leaving it all behind. Jumping, taking a leap. This person is taking a leap into unknown territory, stepping outside of their comfort zone. So we do have somebody here that is going to be starting with a clean slate, leaving it all behind. Okay, that's going in a new direction, taking a journey. And it may be a spiritual journey because we have the third eye here and the fool is starting a new spiritual journey. It really is. Stepping forward in blind faith. This person is inexperienced, though. Or they're stepping into a new experience. All of a sudden, spur of the moment. We have a new, a new beginning here. This is somebody that is, is going to be taking action based on this new vision that they get. And they just do it. And the Ace of Wands is just do it. It's like I, I, they see, you see that, that big burst. I mean, that, I think that's the sun. They see this big burst of light or they just see the light. Okay, so that's a metaphor. They see the light. They get some sort of enlightenment. And it's so, it's just beautiful. Okay, I just feel like it is. And they just step right into it. They stepped right into this beautiful new experience. All, it's like they. this is fearless energy. They let go of all of their fear. They do. They just jump. They're ready. They just jump. King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is very decisive. Um, we have, we have, um, that, this could be, this is, this is, this could be somebody in the law. It could be, this is, is a director of some sort. This is a director or somebody in authority uh, that is a professional. This is a professional uh, examiner of some sort. Making the judgment call. So there is going to be a professional that is making a judgment call. Or is making a call or something like that. There's going to be a conversation and there's going to be some challenging information. Now this could be a judge or somebody from the law enforcement. This may have something to do with a father. We have father here a couple times. Somebody is, is going to uh, take a new approach based on... It's like they're la they're letting go of their fear for sure, for sure. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now this is making a this guy is the one that is going to be. Um, 
This is a very wise individual by the looks of things. Very wise, wise, wise. It looks like it's a wise old man to me. That has a lot of experience. Hey, this guy has seen it all. He has seen it all. Interesting. Let's clarify that King of Swords. He speaks the truth. He's going to be telling somebody some sort of challenging information. Hangman reversed. Now the hangman reversed is uh, not learning a lesson, losing an opportunity, missing an opportunity, won't change, uh, hiding something, refusing to go in, struggling to let go, not waking up. Somebody may give a message that somebody is refusing to wake up or they're not waking up. They could be punished. There could be some punishment that is coming with this card and this card. Somebody could be dealing with some punishment from the law. Okay? And it could be the karmic law. There is punishment coming, just so you know. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but it's the truth. There is some sort of punishment coming. There's impulsiveness here as well that could get somebody in trouble this there's this is unconventional conventional jeez <laughs> um unconventional doesn't follow the rules under social pressure there's there's, there's overdoing it as well somebody could end up you know being arrested or something like that getting punished and it doesn't and I don't know karma will punish you in many ways could be dealing with the Pisces we have Pisces we have uh, we have Libra Gemini Aquarius Aries a couple times and we have Aries a couple of times we have Leo we have Sagittarius we have Taurus we have Gemini we have uh, Scorpio we have Everybody, it doesn't really matter. But somebody wasn't seeing what was, you know, they had no idea that they were going to uh, be stepping into a new experience. Okay, this is all of a sudden. Okay, all of a sudden, they get a wake up call. So be prepared to get a wake up call based on your actions, based on your character. There is going to be some sort of consequences that are delivered. There's going to be sadness, there's going to be heartbreak, and there's going to be tears. And it's going to be a final decision. It's going to, it's going to push somebody over the edge. This is pushing over the edge, okay? Somebody's going to be pushed over the edge. Or they're going to jump off, okay? They're, they're going to be, they're going to, they may be pushed mentally and they just do it. They leap. You know, they decide. It's, they just decide to leave all this bullshit behind, you know? So it's like I'm leaving it all because the fool, when they start their new journey, only takes a tiny little bit, doesn't take anything with them. Just the clothes that they have on. Everything else stays. It's kind of like going to jail or going to wherever you're going, you know. We won't get into it, but you don't take any of that stuff with you. Whether you're going to heaven, or you're going to hell, or you're going to jail. Oh. We have flop or flop like this. Temperance. It's time. When I get the temperance card, it's time. It's time for a change. It's time for a change. Temperance comes after death. It comes after the death card. It's, 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 it's evolution. It's time to bring balance. This is... Uh, 
about allowing and accepting change, compromising and blending based on the new circumstances. There's a lesson that is, we do have a lesson that is about to be learned here. And I think it's a very hard one. Temperance is a need for moderation. Somebody is, is needing to, uh, moderation is needed, okay? Temperance is a renewal after death. After an ending. This is self-discipline to change. And patience and purpose. Everything happens for a purpose. It happens for a reason. This is whatever is happening is going to give somebody the desire to change. This is a wake-up call. We have somebody that is making a decision based on the truth that it's time for a change. Somebody is about to take a leap of faith. There's going to be some communication that comes in. There is. There's going to be a conversation that is had that has to do with change. I've somebody, you know, changing circumstances. Somebody has been in a situation where they probably weren't taken care of. They weren't very loved. And that could be the karma. They may have been trying to prove a point to somebody. Now they've wisened up. This is a wise old man. That could be the case as well. There could be a reconciliation with the temperance card. This is, it could be a reconciliation. If somebody decides to, you know, take a leap of faith and act with integrity. Somebody is getting an awakening. There's definitely going to be some direct communication in regards to a major life change or a major event that changes somebody's circumstances very fast. This person is ready. They're ready. They're ready to start over. Good luck. 